he's broken up a little bit. Looks like he might have a little split brow time, but I think I made a pretty good shot on him. I saw them both run over the hill, um, and then I only saw the small buck after that. So I think the, the one I shot probably laid, fell down right, right there below the hill. Didn't get much. Uh, um, what's that called? The arrow sticks in penetration. Didn't get much of that. myself climbing down from the tree because that's just so cool. Got the camera propped up on another tree there. No, I don't have a cameraman. So I think he just went over this hill, but as I was thinking about it, this might only be a single lung, a single lung shot with the uh, the angle. So. I've had that happen before where I think I see them go down or, you know, they kind of disappear over a hill and then it turns into a mile tracking job. So I'm going to peek over the hill here and hope I see him there. Because if not, he might have ran onto Keppel's and that's a bad deal. Well, here he is. He's not bad. He's a he's a typical uh, ten point with uh, split brow tines, um, bladed, and both of them are split. Um, broke off G2 here. It's kind of a bummer, but um, he didn't go too far. About 70 yards. Um, had a little, not much blood, um, but the snow helped a little. So I just kind of wandered around, and then I found him. So, pretty fun hunt, cold, sit late as a key on this hunt.